The Daniel fast, often crafted around a passage in the book of Daniel, is about more than abstaining from certain foods. It's a spiritual commitment that reflects a form of biblical fasting resembling Daniel's own experiences. In the Bible, Daniel decides to avoid the king's meat and wine for three weeks, choosing instead water and pulses, a term for foods grown from seeds. Now why do this? First, this is a form of spiritual discipline. By setting aside these indulgences and comforts, Daniel, and those who follow in his footsteps, aim to regain focus on spiritual matters, seeking clarity, enlightenment, or closeness to the divine. It's like hitting a big spiritual reset button, disconnecting from the world to reconnect on a higher level. Second, it's a test of self-restraint. By resisting the urge to give in to typical cravings, individuals can cultivate self-discipline, bolstering their moral and spiritual fortitude. In essence, it's not just about what you're not eating. It comes down to what you're seeking. Whether it's an answer to prayer, a closer relationship with God, or purification, fasting is a personal endeavor with the goal of spiritual enrichment. The Daniel fast is a calling to simplify one's life temporarily, removing distractions so that one can focus more on their spiritual journey. In Portland, Oregon, where I live, I see a broad spectrum of fasting practices. And while not everyone does it for religious reasons, the fundamental principles are surprisingly universal. The sense of seeking something beyond our physical selves is a common thread among people, whether in Daniel's time or on the streets of Portland today.